Welcome back to The Medium. It's been a few days since I last played, so I've had some time to absorb the whole situation that happened last time I played. Was not expecting child sexual abuse and domestic abuse and all of that to be a central plot point. That was a lot to deal with emotionally. Let's talk about a few things. When you load up the game, um, I think before the main menu, it gives a trigger warning. However, it's the most useless trigger warning ever. And I just want to use it as an example for people of what not to do. If you make any piece of art that, you know, could use a trigger warning, I just want to explain what they did wrong and how to do it better. The trigger warning before the main menu tells you absolutely nothing about the subject matter that is going to appear in the game. It just says something like this is paraphrasing i'm just going off of memory but it says something like this game was made by a diverse team of various beliefs i don't understand what that has to do with the trigger warning um and then it goes on to say something like this game contains strong subject matter that could be triggering and that's it that's all it says, and that is functionally useless, because the point of a trigger warning is to name out specific subject matter that could specifically trigger someone, because people are triggered by really very, very individual and usually specific things. To not actually name the subject matter specifically makes it useless. Just, this game contains stuff that might trigger you. Well, anything could contain stuff that might trigger you. Right? <laughs> you got to name the specific thing. And I understand that that could be considered maybe a slight spoiler, but who cares? We're talking about health here. Trying to avoid triggering people is its a health issue. It's a mental health issue. That's so much more important than the risk of someone being very slightly spoiled about what's going to happen in a game. Yeah, just name the actual thing. Don't just say contain strong subject matter, say a central plot point is child sexual abuse and domestic abuse, things like that. Now let's talk about Robert. I find myself confused and worried about the whole storyline surrounding Robert. The fact that Thomas went into their mind and basically went back in time and relived parts of their childhood and found that this is where the... I don't know, the demons started in their childhood because of the domestic abuse that they experienced as a child. That's where they became evil, I guess, or that's when they got the demon inside of them or something. I find myself very confused about whether that's a metaphorical or a literal demon, and it feels pretty important. Because if it's a metaphorical demon, then okay. But if it's a literal demon, which kind of seems to be the case, because Thomas literally has like some sort of spiritual powers and literally went inside of his mind. If it's a literal demon, then what does that suggest about Robert's responsibility for what happened? If there's a literal demon that like possesses them, then doesn't that absolve them of their responsibility? And I don't like, I don't like that. I don't like that. Th the idea that Robert wasn't responsible for what they did. So I don't, but I don't know. I'm not sure if it's a like, how literal this demon actually is <laughs> i don't get what's happening i just know that i'm uncomfortable because i feel like it might be suggesting that robert isn't responsible for what they did even thomas at some points when they were delving into robert's mind they said uh, kind of paraphrasing here but the general feeling i was getting from them was basically like okay you're showing me this sob story robert boo hoo but like that still doesn't change anything it doesn't make it okay what you did so like even thomas seems to be like no there's no excuse you could have not done these things this is your responsibility so even thomas seems to be like no this isn't like a real demon or you know it's, it's something they robert had control over at least something like that so i don't know i'm just confused about the whole damn thing but it makes me uncomfortable and i'm also super confused about ursula we found a note a while ago saying that Ursula, the nurse, had been diagnosed with depression, hysteria, I think one or two other things, and that they'd been treated with venlafoxine, an antidepressant, and electroshock therapy. I thought this note was suggesting that they had been treated poorly, because this was a mental health treatment in the 60s. Uh, mental health treatments in the 60s were often pretty bad. 
and often pretty barbaric, basically. Um, venlafoxine is fine, but the electroshock therapy, especially in the 60s, is, yeah, that's really, it was probably pretty barbaric, basically. So I thought that's what they were trying to say about Ursula. But then later we learn that Ursula is the one who went on a rampage and murdered. Like, I don't I don't know how many, half a dozen at least. There was blood everywhere. They just went around stabbing people. They sounded like a serial killer. They sounded demonic almost. Remember Ur the horrible sounds of Ursula stabbing one of the patients who uh, I think they were like an elderly person with dementia or something like that. Yeah, just complete abuse of their patients and just murdering everyone. And they just sounded demonic, basically. And there was a um, suggestion that it got to Ursula first, I think Marianne said. Like, this demon. So again, it sounds like a literal demon. But then what was the purpose of finding that piece of paper saying that they were receiving these probably, this probably barbaric treatment for their mental health issues? What is that saying about Ursula? Was it just a literal demon that took control of them and the whole mental illness aspect has nothing to do with it? Or are they suggesting that this person had depression and, I don't know, mentally ill people just go on murdering rampages and that's just what they do or something like that? Which is obviously bullshit. Like, I don't know, I'm also confused about that, but also uncomfortable at what it, what I suspect it might be saying. Or maybe it's not trying to say anything. Maybe it's just poorly written, poorly fleshed out. Or maybe we'll learn more later. I don't know. But I found myself quite uncomfortable at all of it. Like, I'm not sure what you're trying to do here, story-wise, but I'm pretty sure I don't like it. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's continue. so pretty so pretty <laughs> oh the way the dynamic light interacts with well everything but especially vegetation is just gorgeous hello my sunshine working hard as always mr Rekowitz says there won't be any more guests coming but that's all right Still plenty I can help him with. I just wish it was quiet. Why won't it stop talking? I really wish I could see you. Why won't it stop talking? No, don't put him on. I'm still at work. Just tell me if he's okay. All right. Tell him I'll be back soon. Hmm. This one felt... subdued. Like if someone lit a match in a giant freezer. I must check every little pathway. Ooh. Is there anything to see out there? My darling, have I ever mentioned Mr. Rekowitz's daughter, Lillian? She turned 16 today. Poor thing. Couldn't even have a proper birthday because of that sickness she's got. Anyway, it reminded me of our Anna. Hers is next month, isn't it? Wish I could be there. But Mr. Rekowitz needs me here. Gotta stay. Gotta help him out. Like he helped me. Love you. F. F. 
reclaiming history. The nearby 19th century fort, a place of great historical significance, will soon be renovated and reopened to the public. Renovation works will commence soon and are expected to be completed by 1983. Neva Nature Park. The Neva Nature Park was created thanks to the generosity of the government of the Polish People's Republic. Sounded familiar somehow. Something from my early childhood, maybe? Was it even a place? Or something else entirely? To the left is landscape trail, to the right is rare tree exhibit. Check out the tree. Flashlights flickering. Is there like high spiritual activity here? This tree really stands out, huh? Does this just link back up with the nature trail? I think it is. My dearest, it's getting harder and harder to ignore it. Worst of all, it's starting to make sense. That girl, that poor girl, locked up like an animal. No child should live like this. Is she really that sick? Mr. Rekowitz says it's for her own good, but I'm starting to wonder. I wish I could see you again. I love you so much. Yours, F. Wait, why did Thomas lock her up? Yeah, this is just the nature trail. I don't even understand what Thomas did in Robert's mind. Exercise the demon? Or... I don't know, what did they do? The normal Robert, or the normal um, Thomas just wanted to kill Robert. It was the spirit Thomas that said like, no, let me do my thing. But what is Thomas's thing? What did they do? We found like the child version of Robert inside their head and I guess we, I don't know, help them pass on or something? But what does that really mean? We didn't really help them pass on in the way that we're doing now with Marianne, like, because Robert wasn't dead. We we're inside of the alive Robert's mind, so I just don't get it. I don't know what we did. God. Another one. It looks like it rotted from the inside oh that's a horrible thought <sighs> these animals they look used up like something sucked the life out of them
Oh, doggy. You scared the shit out of me. What do you got in your mouth? What is that? A shoe? Part of a shoe? What you got there? Oh, hey! Wait! Well, it obviously wants me to go that way. But what's the other way? The Stula River. On the right camping spot where the dog wants me to go. I want to ignore the dog. Just, I mean, I don't want to ignore the dog, but obviously it's trying to pull me in that direction hard, so I want to go the opposite way. Maybe I'll die. Maybe the dog is warning me not to go this way. has to be me. She's down there, alone, scared. I can hear her all the time now. She whispers. She yells. Let me out. Let me out. He doesn't understand. He doesn't want to understand. Maybe he's not who I thought he was. I have to show him. What do you want to show me, Dougie? So, there I was, following my new best friend, hoping he wasn't as lost as I was. I remember thinking he could lead me to his owner. In a way, I guess he did. What is it, boy? Your shaving toys? Towels? Grease? Everything an elegant Sasquatch needs. <laughs> What's wrong, buddy? We'll be there in a second. Oh, Just hold let's on. Let's see what we got here. Yummy. Oh. Okay, so whoever was living here, that's their dog. Dog food. Chow chow. I could feed the dog just like I could feed the cat. Yes. Eat up, champ. Oh, I love that that's a common like theme running throughout the game now. It's you can feed animals. Yes. You catch a scent? Hey. Anyone in there? What's wrong, boy? Is someone in there? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hello? I wish I could see you again. I miss you so much. That's the groundskeeper, Francis Frank. Why did I let it out? They're all dead. Shouldn't be. Hey. <laughs> you alright in there? You shouldn't be. I can see you. And that means it see you Oh, of course. 
What else did you expect? Ugh. He looks drained, rotted up from within, just like those animals I saw earlier. I think that's him. After they closed down the resort, did he just stay behind? What is it, boy? Was he your friend? All I wanted was for her to see the sun. I'm so sorry. F. Easy boy. What is it? seems to be oh that was so cool running from that thing and alternating between the two realities that was such a cool sequence i love that the mall is really genuinely horrifying so we must be in the fortress
What? Who's there? You promise. No risk. This isn't real. It can't be. Jack? Is that his tie? Is that? No, it can't be. Pass on. I shouldn't be here, Marianne. It's all your fault, Jack. It's too late, Marianne. It's all. Move your ass. generator. Wonder if it still works. Of course it doesn't. I think it's out of gas. Okay, we need a gas tank then. Locked down tight. I think there's a lever missing. There's a can. Anything in it? Yeah. We still need a lever, though. Loud. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, the Maw's here. Wait. What am I missing? What's the point of up here? There must be something. There has to be. Oh, I can scoot along here, can't I? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I don't remember the button to hold my breath. What was it again? Uh, oh, right trigger. Right. You can be the dress. There's more birds over here. Okay, they didn't seem to make any noise. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh, that's real close. Whew. Oh, no, 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 it's so close. Maybe we should have just ran for it.
least this could come in handy. Lever. <laughs> it's scared of lightning. Is that what you're afraid of? Huh. Energy's energy. I'm almost back at the generator. Huh. I guess that'll keep the thing at bay if I get the generator running. I doubt the thing's dead dead. God, I hope this is over. you could tell me. Hmm. Sadness. Hmm? I need you to focus. Hmm. Think back to as far as you can remember. What do you see? Hmm. Is this a game? I'm afraid not, hon. This is important. Listen. I know what Richard did. Was he the one keeping you here? Marianne! It's okay. I've sent him away. He's gone forever. Lily. Lily? Lily. That used to be your name. Do you remember? All that's happened. Your father. You remember him? Uh, I, I remember. Uh, mommy. Oh, she was so pretty. But, but so sad. Just like you. It must be nice to remember your mommy. I never met my parents. They... They... 
We were in an accident when I was very little. I was the only one who made it. It was really lonely without them. I... Uh, I know what that's like. Ever since my friends... This is a lonely place, Marianne. I shouldn't be here. Maybe you'd be better off somewhere else. Maybe I could... Send me away? No, Marianne. I can't leave. Not yet. But why? Aren't you afraid of the monster? I am. But it doesn't need me anymore. It, it wants you. And when, when it breaks you, when it puts you on, it, it'll finally be able to leave this place, but it, it will never be full. It will never stop killing. Then let me send you away, so we can both leave. Now that you remember who you are, I can... No, Marianne. It's not just about me. It's you. You have to remember the dream the fire the red house what wait no, what is the red house you there marianne with me you were always with me I'm so sorry. Lily? Oh, shit. Gone. Just when I thought I could finally send her away. Thomas? I really hope you're still out here. Because I'm running out of options. The spark's too weak to absorb. Hmm. It's like it's missing something. Are you looking for this little girl? Um, I'm sorry, but um, father doesn't like it when I talk to strangers. Smart man. He's the manager around here, right? Would you happen to know where he is? I'd love to have a word with him. Go away! Or I'll scream! Clever girl. Thomas, you were here. This was your place. What the hell happened here? July 27th, 1983. The Gemini case. The investigation is moving along, but I think Rekovic is starting to suspect something. Need to move fast. Tonight's the night. So they knew about Thomas. But how much, exactly? And who the hell were they? Oh, hey. A eunuch. Someone's got good taste.
Well, you're one to talk. This was your bright idea. No, they're already on to us. That son of a bitch is one of them. I can feel it. Fine, we'll make sure. Come on! It's almost on. One of them? Who are you running from, Thomas? Well, that's a little terrifying. This looks like it could lift a pound or two. It's missing a handle, though. The power's out. Electro Blast would probably get that working. There's something under that engine. If only I could lift it somehow. It's the handle for the jack. Oh, I gotta put the doll in its place. out here. I don't think like something I would control the power would be all the way in that other building. That'd be up here. I did see like a red light up here. Maybe it's a generator or something. Yeah, this. 